हेलो बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स दिस इज सचिन सर वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू दी नेक्स्ट एक्साइटिंग जर्नी ऑफ द पैरल लाइन ओके सो क्वेश्चन इज इन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू द क्वेश्चन से इज लाइन पी एंड क्यू आर पैरल टू इच अदर एंड लाइन एम एंड एल आर ट्रांसवर्सल ऑफ इट आफ्टर दैट few measurements are given to you and we need to find angle a b c d which is shown in the diagram by following the proper pattern so as there are two transversal in the diagram so very first thing we have to mark the transversal before starting the answer because only then we will be able to solve properly so if th there are two transversal line l and line m so better to mark line m first of all as a transversal so that we can find out angle a and angle b okay you cannot mark angle q or line q as a transversal because line q and p are parallel to each other okay so if you observe the diagram over here you will come to know that after marking the transversal a and 110 degree okay they are nothing but very next to each other so we can say these two angles are linear pair and when there are linear pair and we know how to solve it if i subtract that 110 degree from 180 surely i will get the answer of angle a right and we know and because because we know linear pairs are supplementary so angle a equals to 180 minus 110 degree and that results in angle a equals to 70 degree right so first angle is found and now try to observe angle a and angle b in the diagram you will come to know that angle a and angle b are nothing but exterior alternate angle and that makes them equal in measurement and so angle b is also equals to 70 degree now let's try shift the transversal now let's take transversal l and if you observe that l you will come to know that angle d and 115 degree are nothing but again linear pair as it is marked in the diagram and the way we found angle a we can find angle d also over here right so on transversal L do not forget to mention it transversal's name angle D plus 115 degree gives you answer 180 and that is why angle D equals to 180 degree minus 115 degree that results in the answer 65 degree so we found three angles and now if you observe more cleanly you will come to know that angle C and angle 115 degree is nothing but the corresponding angles and hence we have found all the required angles in the question if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section below feel free to it now next question is four lines are given to me and two two of them are parallel to each other line l parallel to m and line n parallel to p that means guys if all four lines are parallel to one or the other we can say all four can be act can can be taken as as transversal okay so if you observe the diagram carefully we we come to know that there is some relation between ab and 45 degree so first of all mark the transversal as a p and mention it we are taking p as a transversal and is there any angle between a and b to link it together with the 45 degree no so we have to consider one angle over there so that angle is angle s and now we can say 45 and angle s are linear pair and from once we find the angle s we can say angle s and a are alternate angle and angle s and b are corresponding angles and in that manner we can solve or find a and b right so let's begin with it angle 45 and angle s is nothing but linear pair so angle s plus 45 degree equals to 180 degree right and don't forget to write the reason li linear pair after that with little little simple mathematics we can find out angle s equals to 180 degree minus 45 degree and that results in angle s equals to 135 degree okay so as we have found angle s equal to 135 degree i can say angle s and angle a are equal to each other because of alternate angle theorem okay that we we have already learned so angle a is also equal to 135 degree now to find the angle b you can utilize angle a also angle s also okay angle s is equal to angle b that makes it 135 degree because they are corresponding angles and that gives corresponding angle theorem as a reason right now let's focus on another transversal that is line l okay if you observe angle c is expected to find angle c and angle b are nothing but the corresponding angles right if you observe it more clear, clearly and if you have any doubt you can ask me any time in the comment section below okay so by considering line l we can find as a transversal we can find out angle c with by writing its relation with the angle b that is corresponding angle and in this manner we have found all 
four expected uh, three expected angles angle a equals to 135 degree angle b also equals to 135 degree and angle c also equals to 135 degree so if you have not understood or have any difficult 